Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet and Boris from Nova Scotia Living Arts the next day. <clears throat> it's about 10 after 8. I just had a reheated Tim Hortons coffee, but I am done that. And everybody's still sleeping. We got up around 6.30, went for a walk. It was raining a lot last night. It wasn't raining when we left for a walk, but it's supposed to rain this morning. And clear up this afternoon, I think. I had to turn the light on out there because it's really dark still. And it's like 8.30 now. <clears throat> Almost 8.30. Um, anyways, I got the laundry going this morning. I emptied the dishwasher. I need to go rotate that laundry. I think it's done. But I finished that treatment book. Yesterday evening. Or yesterday afternoon. I started Ritual by Mo Hader. And I'm just about done this book too. <laughs> That's the third book in the Jack Cafferty um, series, <clears throat> and it's really good. But I think after I'm done that, I'm going to switch it up. I really want to continue with it, but I just need a little break from that kind of a story. But, um, yeah, fantastic, fantastic writer. Um, it really feels like one of those shows and movies that usually involves a few characters, and it's very adult-like dark themes um yeah she is a uh, edward edgar award winning author i don't know what that is but anyways it's uh it's fantastic like her books are fantastic um like i said i do have the rest of the books in the series i just want to switch it up um just you know flip flop between different kinds different kinds but anyways i'm gonna go rotate that laundry it sounds like it's raining out now I'll feed these guys. And, yeah, I have TV for dogs on. It's just different dogs going around and stuff like that. Yeah, I can hear the rain now. Yeah, I had to, uh, there's my basket still there from yesterday. It's all very, very rainy out. Francis. Yeah, it's raining. It's dark. I didn't feed Randall, but he wasn't out. So maybe later I will. We'll see. But there's some towels from yesterday that still need to go, but they're looking at me like, what am I doing? Oh yeah, well what are you doing? Thundering. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's rumbling out there, baby. I love it. It's really dark and stuff, but it just makes it feel cozy on the inside. All right, guys, it's 8 36. I'm doing up some chops. I know it's only early, but I'll do them up. And put them in the fridge. I'll peel a pot of spuds. I'll do the spuds later. And open a can of vegetables. And we'll have a pork chop supper. My husband just got these yesterday. I just put some grease in the pan. It's a bit of fat on the edge. But that's alright. It'll come off easy. When it comes time. Yeah, it is pouring out now. Like, pouring. I should put it on the deck. Yeah, this, these chops have like a layer of fat there. So. I'm hoping I can do the all. I should be able to. God, oh, that's a, just a lot of fat. That baby. Cut off the thickest bit. Perfect. Holy cow, I love it. Downpour. Keep 
but feel the energy. All right. These are the two. You can go right here. Right there. And I'll turn these on. There, we're good. I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper. Oh, it's on the proper burner. The salt comes out super fast, so I gotta be careful. I'll just do up a pot of potatoes, like I said. If I had carrots, that would be good too, but I don't. But I have like canned beans or corn or peas or something that can go along with it. But that way I can be done this. And... Yeah. I won't have to worry about it. I will put maybe a, maybe a little onion and garlic powder on, but it wouldn't be till after. Sometimes, more times than not, I just use salt and pepper on pork, like chops. I find it just does up nice and I'm just warming up. This is, right? Um, it just does up nice like that. And then you have some nice creamy potatoes or uh, meat and potatoes kind of supper. It's good. It's good. But there is a package of bone in skin off chicken breast in the fridge that Mally wanted to do. Otherwise, I would have cooked that up. It's got to be cooked today, though. Like, I'll have to tell Mally she wanted it out. She's got to do something with it because I defrosted it and it needs to be cooked. So I don't know what what she planned. She was like, didn't you have any with no bone? Like, she likes boneless, skinless. I said, no, I don't think I do. Like, but I can just take the bone out. I have this up on high. I'll just, I will turn it down a little bit once it really starts sizzling. Um, yeah. Yeah. So everybody's still asleep now. The thing is, Maze will come downstairs and if he smells this, he'll be like, can I have some of that now? <laughs> but he was talking about pancakes yesterday and my husband got pancake mix. So maybe I'll whip up some pancakes after. And uh, that way, he can get his belly full with that, and then this will be for supper. Now this will just sit in the fridge. I can warm it up in the microwave, but I'll, I won't cook the vegetables until later this afternoon, so it'll be ready at the time of supper. The peeling's the hardest part of cooking potatoes, the peeling, and that's not even hard. It's just a pain. Or if I can just wash the potatoes and cook them like that. I've just, I haven't done that in a long time, but Mom used to do that all the time. But uh, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. This will probably cook faster. It seems to be getting hotter faster. But. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I need to put, I just cut off two little hunks of that fat. There's still fat on there, but, and I'm gonna put this in the garbage.
go with furs. Love my waves on right now. I love that song. Anyways, I just put a little water in there and put the lid askew um, and just let it finish cooking like that. I'm going to get set up for some spuds now. listening to I Promise by I Am Human, I think. I don't know. I forget. Anyways, there's the chops. There's the spuds. I'm not going to cook those now, but they're in nice cold water. I'm going to let these cool down. I'll put them in a container and put them in the fridge and then get this pot pan in the dishwasher and get that going. Okay, that's 9.06 in the morning. Hip hip hooray. All right, I just wiped the table off. I'm going to sweep the floor in a second. I'm um, waiting for those pork chops to cool down so I can get that pan cleared away and wipe the stove off. But I just rotated that laundry I put up this morning. I need to unfold a rack, maybe two, and yeah, then I want to sweep the kitchen floor. This is How Soon Is Now by the Smiths. Um, but this is my pork chops. They're still warm, there's still steam coming off, but I'll just let them cool down in this, that way I can get the dishwasher going. Alright, I wiped the table, the counters off, I swept the floor, the dishwasher's going, it's Smashing Pumpkins is playing, so I'm just going to go sit down and rest a bit. Alright guys, I have not checked back in a bit. Um, what did I do? Oh, I finished... I told you I finished that treatment book and I started that ritual book. Um, I left Violet and Boris with Mally. She's up. It's 1041. I think the other kids are up. They're just up in their room. I'm going to spin in to get Saritha's prescriptions because I stopped there yesterday and apparently it closes at 5, not 6. And I said I'll just go in now. And yeah, I need to get gas when I go into town too. And I'm dreading that because it's probably going to cost an arm and a leg. So, yeah, hip hip hooray. Alright guys, I made it into Sobeys. I'm not stopping anywhere, so I don't need to stop anywhere, but I got Saritha's prescriptions there. In the white bag, it's raining out. It's not pouring, but it's like really misty, small rain, but it's constant. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm just taking my time. I'm not going to hydroplane today, baby. Alright guys, I'm back home. It's about 20 to 12. I'm going to do up some pancakes for lunch. And my husband got some of this yesterday. Just add water. Maze's request. A third cup of water per one cup of mix. We'll have to do two or three uh, quantities for that. Well, you can make waffles out of the stuff. I told you, they're pretty much the same thing. Alright, Maze is going to mix it up for me and then I'll fry her up. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do this up. Seems kind of liquidy, but I followed the directions, so we'll just have to go with that, huh? Do this. I need to get a plate out and flipper. stirring it. Okay, that's good, Mace. That's good. That's good. Yeah, the other one was the like, on it. I know, I just couldn't see it there. 
All right. All right. I just. Look at this. <laughs> There's enough pancakes for everybody. It should have been Even you if you're here. Alright, this one's gonna be for Mays. Alright guys, I am outside now. It's not raining. I'm sitting on a recycle bag because my chair is wet. I have a cool carbonated water. I got my book. Um I just got off FaceTime talking to my sister for about an hour. Truck is turning around and I'm in Elliot's driveway to come back. Maybe they're pulling in mine and just missed it. There's a green Jeep over in Saritha's driveway and somebody's in the driver's seat with their arm out the window. What is this truck doing? I don't know, they're not turning into mine anyways. Yeah, anyways, it's still kind of gloomy out, but the sun is peeking out from around the clouds and it's not raining. Um, I'm going to turn those potatoes on like medium here shortly just to let them slowly warm up and slowly cook. And then I can easily warm up the pork chops, nuke the beans, and that'll be that. But um, I was talking to Dad on the phone earlier. Tomorrow's the Scallop Days Parade, which I completely forgot about. Um, so that starts at 2 tomorrow afternoon. So we'll probably go into that. I don't know if I'll bring Violet and Boris though because they would be a handful with a parade and it might be loud and there'll be lots of people and Boris will want to say hi to everybody and Violet will not want anybody to say hello to her. So it would just be, it's already kind of stressful going to a parade with a bunch of kids anyways. But my kids are kind of big so at least they're not little toddlers that are trying to run out or you know what I mean. So that stress isn't my big stress is just anyways seating and all that stuff but I told dad, dad yep we'll be in and we'll see that and yeah yeah because usually he would come out today but he's not coming out today he's like I'll have a box of treats but I'll give it to you tomorrow I said okay that's what you want to do that's what you want to do right Violet eh Boris anyone yeah Oh, I hear Randall. I haven't fed him today because it was raining this morning. If he comes over, I'll go, I'll go in and get some peanuts. I still got a little bit left. All right, those buds are almost done. It's about quarter after four. Um, I just turned the oven on 350. It's, I just put the pork chops in there in that container. I was going to heat it up in the microwave, but I'll just put it in there. So by the time the potatoes are done and I get them all whipped up, um, they should be warmed up enough and then I'm just going to open a can of that that can of beans and warm that up in the microwave and then assemble the plates all right looky looky there's the potatoes whipped up just warmed up the beans and the pork chops are nice and hot too so I'm just going to start getting some plates yes I'm using baby plates because they're my babies and they still work Alright, Flock of Seagulls is playing now, but 
There's the place. This one's Mazes. He only wants two things of potatoes. But, and Misha and Maze both like any kind of sauce, really. This is Smoke and Stampede Beer and Chipotle barbecue sauce. Just to dip their meat in. Seeing vacuum in the lawn and stuff. There's a fire truck over by that car. When I was sitting outside with Violet and Boris, the car stopped at the end of the road like something was wrong. But my husband's out. Look, this is still tipped over. I'm just going to throw these bones in there. And oh, the fire truck's going now. I just wanted to take a gander, make sure everything was say okay. But it didn't seem like an emergency. Oh, there's a police car over there, too. Strange. I don't know. Now, I threw this stuff out for Randall when I was out here. Because I heard him. But he must have been scared away by all the foolishness. Because the peanuts are still here. I don't know. Oh, it must have been loved by Roxette is out playing now. I just went out to the compost again because I don't want bones being left in the house for these fellers to get. And the fire truck's gone, but the police is still there. Okay. Oh, is that the vehicle? It is the vehicle. Now, I wonder if the police is going to follow them. They're going up the hill. And the pose going up. All right, all right. Hmm. I wish I knew the story. Well, Boris was looking too. Francis, did you get the story? What? Did you? Don't poke me. You're awfully prickly. Anyways, the kids have all had supper. My husband's outside barbecuing steak, and I'm just about to get the dishwasher going. When Misha brings her plate down, they're upstairs playing. So. Um, I'm going to get her to go over to Saritha's to bring that medication in. We got her a plunger too. One of these plungers because she was having trouble with her septic system and she had to bore out her plunger a couple times. I said we'd get her one. It's just from the dollar store. It's the same one that we have. Oh, this is a good song. What is it? I know it. Oh, it's you too. Anyways, $4.75, but it's like that ultra plunger. Yeah, I have it on my kitchen table, but it's brand new, okay? It's never been in a toilet yet. All right, there's one chop left, so I'm just going to put it in the fridge in one of these. If somebody wants a, <laughs> another helping, it's there. These guys have had a little bit of a nibble already. Not of that. All right, I'm starting to pack up the leftover potatoes. I knew I'd have some leftover um, just because I peeled the rest of that bag. And I'm just doing my potato balls. I'm going to make it all fit in here, though. All right. Steve Earle's plan now. Copperhead Road. That's Steve Earle, isn't it? Is it? i got to look it up. Good song, though. I was always thinking about making whiskey and stuff. <clears throat> making whiskey or a shine or something. Because I used to make wine. all the time like I still got my carboys and bottles down in the basement homemade wine box wine but I used to like pick berries pick peaches all that make wine I used to make beer too I got boxes built for beer bottles and stuff still got those and I wanted to branch into that but it's illegal here in Canada uh, you might be able to get a license but you're not supposed to have a still but I know people I don't know people personally but people do but uh, I was scared to do, but I did have a little interest at one point. Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from another day. I just got back from dropping Misha and Maze off to camp. And this morning I was editing this video um, with my coffee, so I know it needs an ending. So I just thought I'll do this and I will go right up and um, put that on it and get it published tonight. Because I don't think I got a video up last night. It was just one of those days. But anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. 
please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.